These emergency rations, this is gonna take you several days. If you ration it out, you can always extend your food supply. Yeah, sure, it's not what you would normally maybe eat, but in a survival situation, if you have to extend your rations, you gotta think about that stuff. We have a brand new product on our website right now. It's called the Build Your Own Bug Out Bag. You're gonna be able to go on our website right now today and pick as your base one of these two gray man type packs and you're going to be able to add whatever you want from every category you're going to have options for shelter fire water food navigation signaling knives tools you're going to be able to put together your own pack the way that you want it and customize it and get a discount in the process so if you guys are looking to build your own bug out bag now you can do that on thesurvivalsummit.com in addition to our new product we're running a giveaway we're gonna be giving away a fully loaded, fully stocked bug out bag. In this bug out bag, there's gonna be everything you need for shelter, fire, water, food, land navigation, signaling, and even tools. This is the bag you can win, fully stocked. We're gonna be announcing the giveaway winner on Halloween. Just go to thesurvivalsummit.com slash bug out bag and sign up today. Now we're gonna talk water. A good old stainless steel single wall. This, this canteen right here, you know, there's some good ones out there. Clean Canteen makes them, really good ones. Yep, you hear that noise? You wanna make sure it doesn't sound like a, a church bell when you ring it, like it's echoing. If it's echoing, it means it's a double wall canteen. And when you start to heat water up in that thing, and they're designed to keep whatever's inside there either very hot or very cold, uh, there is a possibility that that pressure between that wall will build and it you know, could explode on you. You don't want that kind of a problem. But the thing I like about this system is I can heat water up in here. I can heat water up in this cup. They slide together, easy to carry. Uh, you always have a way to have a fresh drink of water because when you can boil it, big bubbles, little troubles, never a problem. But I like to always carry two systems. Here I have the Grail water system. Uh, this is a really good Geo press, they call it, to press the water out, the filter's on the bottom, and you have a clean drink. It's very easy to use. You fill up the one container. Uh, that is a great system. So I got two systems to get a drink of water and carry water. Because in a survival situation, you know, dehydration, man, that's not good. And now I have a backup system too. I have this uh, Sawyer Squeeze. Sawyer's a very popular system. So you have the bottle to put the water in. Put the uh, filter right on top, ready to go. And now you just fill it up with water. You can squeeze this into the bottle, into your mouth, whatever you want. And then there's water. There's a uh, military use a lot of uh, water purification tablets. You got these aqua tabs. Those are very simple. You just drop them in the water, shake it up, wait 30 minutes, and then boom, you're, you got a fresh drink of water in there. So you got all kinds of systems, right? To backups to the backup, you want to think about that stuff. Next is food. Yeah, you might only be trying to get home from your office to your car, and uh, but you never know what is gonna happen. So you always wanna be prepared. So these emergency rations, this is gonna take you several days. If you ration it out, you can always extend your food supply you know, by a couple days, two or three. You know, Even though it might say, hey, this is a three-day supply, if you cut that in half, you just extend yourself to six. Yeah, sure. It's not what you would normally maybe eat, but in a survival situation, if you have to extend your rations, you gotta think about that stuff for the long term. We got energy bars. They're really good. Quick burst of energy. Take a bite, put it in your pocket, take another bite. Just keep your fuel going. Food is fuel for the situation to keep you moving. Granola bars, you can have trail mix. And these hydration powders are awesome for getting electrolytes back in your system, getting salts back in your system, which is critical for your whole body to work properly. So you're talking about functioning right, you know, water, food, it fuels the body, keeps you hydrated, and keeps you in the fight. <laughs>